listen what did co2 say to other greenhouse gases boring uh okay fine knock knock who's there climate change climate change who gives up i am done trying to make climate change funny for you guys for jokes what stand up comedy for everything else Today on the climate change dictionary we are talking about carbon markets. Yeah, it has come to this. The greenhouse gas we all thought was pretty useless and doing no one any good, carbon dioxide can now be traded. You can legit buy and sell CO2 and other greenhouse gases. But before we get into this, here's why you should be interested in carbon markets. India is pretty excited about it. It is very important to the flow of global climate funds. And I mean air, pollutants in the air are being sold. How can this not be interesting? Carbon dioxide is one of the greenhouse gases. The gases which are largely responsible for global warming and human induced climate change or anthropogenic climate change. So as we know now, we cannot pollute unabashedly in the post-industrial revolution world. Why? Well, if you're still asking me this question, then you need to watch our previous videos. So hit pause and do that. But for a quick revision, during the industrial revolution, developed countries polluted like nobody's business with zero checks and balances and did that for decades like Britain France and USA then the globe started heating up and we realized wait this was happening because of all the pollution done by these developed countries as the world realized that global warming is a result of carbon emissions and greenhouse gases and a lot of pollutants we understood that emissions need to be capped In the post-industrial revolution world we can't emit unlimited greenhouse gases anymore. And the moment anything becomes limited it becomes important as a commodity much like currencies. And the same happened to carbon dioxide or other greenhouse gases. So the idea now is offsetting or reducing emissions will get you carbon credits. These carbon credits can be sold off. So for example if this person here let's call them X planted a thousand trees and created a carbon sink which is essentially a geographical space which will absorb carbon dioxide like trees do the x then would get carbon credits for creating this carbon sink that would offset emissions that have necessarily not been created by x and if say z wanted to set up a power plant something that would lead to more emissions z would buy these carbon credits from x this process would essentially ensure that the total amount of carbon dioxide emissions are contained across the planet now the tree can be replaced by any act that reduces greenhouse gas emissions and x and y can be replaced by any country this act of selling and buying these carbon credits is called carbon trading transactions for the sale of permits reductions or offsets together comprise the carbon market Carbon markets are a mechanism to trade carbon credits and this has been defined under article 6 of the Paris Agreement. A carbon credit is equal to a ton of carbon saved from emissions. Now, this transaction is not as simple as it seems. Beyond monetary benefits, these credits are crucial for both countries. Why? Because these credits help nations meet their climate goals and pledges. And once X and Y have traded these credits, only one of the countries can count the emission reduction or offset towards their ndc's or nationally determined contributions or simply the climate goals set under the paris agreement basically the richer countries who have always polluted will continue to pollute more only now they will pay for it one of the biggest concerns is that the rich will even stop putting efforts to reduce emissions and keep polluting because now they can just throw money at it which they seem to have a lot of Like all marketplaces carbon markets are also rife with their own global politics and power dynamics. To name a few of these contentious areas we're looking at double counting emission reductions, human rights abuses in the mad race to reduce emissions without caring for the vulnerable and the biggest culprit greenwashing. Greenwashing is where no reduction is done but a lot of it is claimed to be done and hence fake credits. Is this reminding you of your colleague who does no work, talks too much and gets the highest salary hike during appraisals? me too but there's a lot more to this global politics and actually a lot more about these carbon markets like how they're important to india what are the types of carbon markets that exist and what does the future of carbon trading look like but we will discuss these in a later video till then watch all the episodes of the climate change dictionary for all things climate and keep coming back i am done trying to <laughs> Roll cut, man. Climate change.
नहीं सुनना यार तेरा प्लान मैंने तेरा बोल दिया करती थी